So this is the Trek Powerfly LT9. It's one of the higher bikes provided by the bike garage in Bamford. Really, really nice bike. These are brand new uh, and they're available to hire for a full day. So just starting off at the front of the bike, you've got the Fox Performance 36 float. These are 160mm travel e-bike optimised forks. The performance of these forks is absolutely incredible. Obviously you've got a slightly heavier bike with all of the motor and the Bosch system in there and the battery. So the fork really does need to be up to task to take the beating that it does when you're out on the trail. I can happily say it's really confidence inspiring. You can hit some really heavy drops on it and the bike just keeps going. Keeping the suspension, on the back it's got the RockShox Deluxe RT3. Uh, this has a three position dampening system. Once again, it has to be tough enough to withstand the bumps that the bike will take with it being a heavier bike. And I can really say that it really is a confidence inspiring ride. Uh, going on to the front, you've got the four pot Shimano XTs uh, with 200mm ice disc rotors. Again, with the weight of this bike, you would sort of expect it to cook the brakes a little bit, but I'm happy to say that these brakes work absolutely brilliantly. I've got no doubts whatsoever that these would stop you on really some of the toughest descents you could find in the Peak District. The motor on this is the Bosch Performance CX model, 500 watts, and it really does have quite a kick to it, especially when you put it in turbo mode. Although I've not been putting it in turbo mode, I'll show you here. So the mode just below turbo, E mountain bike sort of adapts to what's needed at the time. So for example if you're going down a descent and it's quite a fast one and you don't really need the assistance it will just dial it down a little bit and reduce the amount of assist that it's giving you. However if you get to the bottom of that descent and you start climbing up again and you really are putting the power down because it's quite a steep climb it will ramp the power right up to what is the equivalent of turbo mode. I've found for this ride I've tended to sort of leave it in e-mountain bike mode and then occasionally bump it up into turbo mode. The turbo mode really is quite addictive, uh, you really can fly up some of the climbs. So coming in for the drivetrain, on the back here we've got the SRAM XG Eagle which is 12 speed, 11 to 50 which is a pretty massive gear ratio. Uh, rear derailleur is a SRAM GX Eagle. Uh, shifters up at the front are also SRAM GX Eagle. Now, one of the best features, one of the best features about this bike, not only the distance you can cover over the time that you'd normally take, is this just down on the bottom here. So I just get my water bottle, wash that away. If you can see under here, you've got a bottle opener on the underside bash guard. So I'd recommend washing it off first, but for a mid-ride or post-ride beverage, it's certainly a nice little addition that Trek have thrown in on there. So this has been a little roundup of the Trek Powerfly LT9 that's available from the bike garage for hire. Uh, it's all day hire, make sure you check out the website. I really can't stress enough how fun this bike is. Normally I'd be riding a 120mm lightweight cross-country full suspension bike however I do feel that this is a really nice change so whether you're local or visiting the Peak District do pop into the bike garage and inquire about hiring these bikes I'd advise giving them a call first before your trip just to make sure that the availability is there this is a really really fun way to get out and get some extra miles in without having to spend too much extra time out hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching